guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk you through my top three books of my English literature final year at Cardiff University. So if you're new around here then I'm Katie and as I just said I have just graduated as an English literature student and yeah let's get into what books I most enjoyed studying this year. So this year, if you didn't know, I actually went on study abroad for autumn semester, so I was in America for the first half of the year. Um, if you want to check out those videos, I actually have a playlist of all of those and my experience studying abroad on my channel, so I'll either link it like up here or I'll link it in the description. But I took two English literature modules when I was back home in Cardiff. Um, one of them was poetry, so the other one was novels and plays, so all of the text that I enjoyed most actually came from that novel and plays one which was controversial literature of the 20th and 21st century so all the books were either controversial in their time or are still a little bit controversial. So my first favourite book I actually read in the summer ready for spring semester so I read it like a full six months ahead and that is Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. As you can see this is a really thin book but this basically follows a character called David who is American but living in Paris and his relationship with Giovanni who is um, a man who basically works at the bar that David frequents and they end up living together. This is in a time when being gay was not okay in the slightest. It's really interesting to like look back on how it was perceived then and kind of the consequences of what can happen. So. I did read this ages ago so I can't really remember exactly how we got to that point but Giovanni actually suffers really bad consequences and David basically runs away and ends up. Giov um, David is actually basically engaged to a girl who's kind of gone away but then she comes back and yeah I think she discovers that David and Giovanni are living together in a very small like studio apartment but yeah um, consequences happen for Giovanni which isn't very nice but I really enjoyed James Paul Wooden's style of writing. He wasn't an author I'd either heard of before or even read before and it's definitely an author and he's definitely an author that I want to read more from which I intend to do. That's funny I took this on a holiday with me to Budapest last year and there's like a receipt in the back of it from Budapest. But yeah he's definitely an author that I want to read more from so if you know of any of his other books that you would yourself recommend them please let me know as I would love to read them and yeah it was quite a quick read because it's very thin it's only it's only 150 pages like that's so short I think it took me a few hours to read and also the cover of this edition which is from it's the great loves edition from penguin it's just so beautiful at like the front cover the leaves um yeah really good book would recommend so the next book is actually a play and that is The Children's Hour by Lillian Hellman. Don't panic, this contains six plays. This is not Children's Hour. The Children's Hour is actually very short, it didn't take me long to read at all. So The Children's Hour is just this first bit, if you can see that. I really enjoyed this play, it was basically about women who worked in a school, a boarding school and so there's an aunt, the niece and then another woman and the other woman is gay and she is basically in love with the niece and she's never acted on it. I think the aunt's kind of aware or actually maybe it was the other way around. Anyway there's an aunt, I can't remember which way around it is and what she's never acted on it. I think again this was written in 1934 so I'm pretty sure being gay was still illegal then. One of the girls at school who's very nasty, or she's not allowed to go home or something, I can't entirely remember. Anyway there's something that she's not been allowed to do and she gets angry and she starts spreading a rumour to her grandma that the two teachers are in a lesbian relationship, which they weren't. And it's basically about the downward spiral from there, loads of the parents pull their kids out of the school and um, the woman, the teacher who's not a lesbian, her fiance ends up dumping her because he doesn't want to deal with the rumours. Because everyone's basically decided the rumours are true. Then the grandma of the girl I think realises that it wasn't true. One of the other girls told her. She comes to like apologise 
um, but at that point it's kind of too late and something else has happened and it just shows the effect that rumours can have on someone whether it's something that people should really care about or not especially at this time as being gay or lesbian wasn't okay so yeah that it was a really interesting read and I really enjoyed it again it was really easy to read it's not long at all it's less than 100 pages I know that reading plays can sometimes be a bit off-putting but it was really easy to keep up with the characters and what was happening so I definitely recommend that if it sounds like something you're interested in um at some point I do want to get round to reading the other plays in this book because I did really enjoy it the final book I most enjoyed from third year is Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov and this again is a classic and it's about a man that comes to live with a mother and a young daughter. He ends up in a relationship with the mother but he is interested by the daughter who's only like 12 and it kind of shows their relationship and the inappropriateness of it and how he gets custody of her and basically how she ends up like acting out. Um, yeah again it's a classic so I feel like I don't need to explain it too much but I'd never read it before and I wanted to read it for ages I just never got around to it so it was the perfect excuse for reading it having to do it for uni um, so I definitely really recommend it. Um, this is a bit longer it took me a little bit longer to read um, and that is 331 pages so a bit longer but again enjoyable so those are my top three books of third year let me know what your top books that you studied in the past year have been i'd love to know and if you have any recommendations for me again i'd love to know if you have those too and if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one